like, and I have to go home for so long. Uh, Sounds good. Wow. May's, uh, May's taking, taking life. <laughs> wow, like, this has been insane. Like, I don't even know how to start talking about anything, like, but I've been talking about it, like, the whole time. Oh my gosh, guess, like, your, from the beginning. your voice but, is still shaking. <laughs> came to Decatur to like see Carson and just like hang Ooh. out and this whole week I had been like so busy but also like not really here for it so I just like slept the whole ride to Decatur and just like ended up seeing Carson like and I was like drunk in this parking lot and we just met up and I think we're great and we had a really good night and then the next day I met her friends who she's like best friends with and hangs out with all the time but she also just met them a few months ago and just like really connected with them so there were, like, I don't know, just, like, four of us just ended up hanging out this whole weekend and just deciding that we were all going to trip together. And it just worked out. Like, there were, like, so many infinite variables going into this, like, situation. Like, I've never had so many things just, like, come together, and everything was just so good, like, the whole time. Like, I, all four of us just, like, let go, and we're, like, all together, like, with each other. And, like, I, don't, I like, never met two of these people before, like, ever. And now, like, we're all so close, and we all just, like, let it all happen, and we were all, like, aware that it was all happening together, that we, like, didn't know each other, and we were just, like, sharing this, like, amazing experience, and just, like, talking openly, and we all just, like, cuddled in this pile for, like, the entire time, pretty much, because we, like, went so many places and had tons of adventures, but we also spent lots of time just, like, laying around together talking and, like, listening to music and jamming, and... Like, I felt like I just understood so many more things about, like, I don't know, just other people, and, I don't, like, uh, it's so much of a process all together, because we could just talk about literally everything, I guess, I don't know, but I, there were a lot of, like, specific memories that I, like, connected to from, like, other places that I've been, like, with other people and, like, other trips and, like, other experiences I'll have later, and I just felt like this trip was, like, so good, like, it's what people talk about when they say when you, like, take this drug and you have this, like, crazy experience that, like, opens you up to, like, be this, like, other, like, to, like, learn all these new things that you're not learning, like, when I'm, like, just, like, sober right now sitting on this porch and it's very cold outside and I'm just, like, having to deal with driving home to, like, life. But, like, like, I've taken this, like, so many times with, like, other people and crazy experiences and, like, trying to figure out how to, like, make it better because I, like, read about these other things that people are experiencing and, like, I want the same things. And, like, I got something that was, like, so close to what I always, like, feel like I hear about. And I was like, yes, like, I understand what you guys, what people are talking about now. Like, when they talk about all these ideas, I don't know. <laughs> like, I just felt more connected. Yeah, man, that's exactly how it is. <laughs> yeah, I don't, like, and I just, like, it's like the whole time I just wanted, like, more of, like, all these infinite experiences that I was, like, consuming and, like, listening to all of this music, like, in just new ways and, like, experiencing art in such, like, a new way. Oh, my gosh. Like, all, like... We found, we found this piece of art just, like, on the ground that's, like, this thing that the Children's Hospital just, like, leaves art drops, like, around the city for people to just pick up, and, like, from, like, a sick kid that, like, a sick kid in the hospital made, and, like, that's so cool that that city just, like, does that, and that's, like, something that all these organized people, like, can make happen, like, just, like, for people to, like, stumble upon like art that someone else made and like express themselves in this cool thing and you just found it like we found it like at sunrise when we were just, like walking around georgia tech campus which is like really beautiful seriously like georgia tech is really pretty but it's so like tech like wow like i thought thought so much about technology because there's like all the people i'm around are all like georgia tech's campus is like extremely like urban and like modern like everything's like glass and like metal and very like square and it feels very like millennial 2015 and i thought a lot about technology and like <sighs> dealing with it like as a part like how it's connected to nature so i guess because people talk about technology a lot and how they like don't like it or like it or something 
but it's just like part of nature also we're just swarming because we're nature too like all this technology around me just felt like so like part of it also it's part of the stream of evolution yeah because the thing is they build all these trees in like the lines but they like they built the they like built the nature to like be artistic and like and like neat like organized but it's like art but it's nature and that's cool like isn't that what chinese people do with giant bushes that they trim into like elephants and stuff yeah topiaries topiaries yeah they're just like reorganizing nature like to like i don't know to look like things in their imagination yeah. Like gestalt images. Oh my gosh. Wait, I wanted to tell you about this. Okay, I watched I watch this movie, this Disney movie. It's called Fantasia. Have you heard of it? Yes, yes. Oh my god. I watched that when we were tripping and oh, like 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 three weeks ago or like a month ago. I don't know. Like, and wow. That was the craziest experience ever. Because the music is like already really good and all the art is like really good and all these people like I love animation so much and seeing all of that together like all these people like that's what they hear like when they listen to music and sometimes I feel like people are like oh like that guy was totally on drugs when he like said this thing or like had this crazy thought or whatever and I'm just like no like that's not what it's about it's not like this person like took a drug so they could have this like crazy ridiculous like super deep thought it's just like no they just thought about things more <laughs> Like, I don't know. Like, I read this Kanye West quote out this morning, and one of my friends was just like, yeah, like, Kanye has definitely, like, tripped before and, like, seen this. And I was like, no, I mean, like, maybe because he's Kanye West, but, like, he's just talking about things from, like, an awesome perspective, and why does that have to be like that? Like, people who can just, like, see things from this, like, really unique, like, perspective are just like, oh, like, those people just, like, take acid or something i don't know exactly it's it's a way to delegitimize the concept so they don't have to yes, think about it as like, if it was the, like, really intimately real intense thoughts they have that's so true Ugh. but it's just like useful to do that you know like it's necessary i feel like people need to just do that to like go through things it's so much f like like <sighs> like the fact that i like didn't know these people and it would have been like probably a lot easier to just have not been in that situation but like everything around me was just like pointing to like having this experience with these people like all the variables in the universe just like ended me up there like with them and everything was fine because like i realized that like I didn't, I didn't know, like, where I was, like, who I was with, like, we were getting, like, I thought we were getting, like, kicked out of, like, multiple houses at, like, this night, and I was kind of just, like, because Carson is, like, not a very, like, generally responsible person, she's just a very lucky person, like, Carson's super reckless, and it just, like, works out for her, but, like, I like to, like, know what's going on to, like, know that I'm gonna have, like, a place to sleep, and, like, I will, like, be, my, like, body will be safe, you know, like, that's just, like, a good thing, and I, like, didn't have access to any of that, but I knew these three people that I was with, and I was, like, I just have to, like, let go that I'm not gonna be able to control anything right now, and I just have to, like, trust these people, and it was, like, it was crazy, like, the acceptance that I went through, I don't know, like, like, trusting other people, especially because, like, I didn't even know them, and, but, like, we both acknowledged that, and, like, we were, like, aware of it, and, and, like, talking about it, and, like, being there, and just, it would just, it just all worked, like, it just all worked, but it's, like, those people had to be like that, too, like, if those, if those were, like, any different people who could have just, like, rejected that kind of, like, open intimacy, like, immediately, it just, like, wouldn't have worked out. Exactly, yeah, this is a good, you know, description of the human condition. Yeah, like, it's awesome because, like, I just want, like, I so badly just, like, want to be like that with people. Like, I just want to, like, be, like, so myself with everyone and, like, not, and, like, I have to, like, be connected to people. But it's, like, you can't just, like, put yourself there because other people won't always be there to receive you, you know? Well, 
there's a lot there's a lot of fear in the pain of putting yourself out there and then not being received but it's also part of the mission in order to uh, yeah to like see with other people because if i would have just automatically been scared then it wouldn't have worked out at all and everything was just perfect because i was just like i'm not going to be scared i'm gonna embrace this and because the, it seems right and like to the like uh sarah says this thing about elbows that i like but she's like you know about when, elbows yeah when it she's oh, like wait yeah what is it i can't wait we talked about elbows <laughs> When, when I'm dancing, and there's another girl there, and, you know, maybe she'll see how high I'm putting my elbows, and then maybe she'll think, hey, maybe I can put my elbows that high, too. <laughs> right? So, like, with, with putting yourself out there and being shameless and vulnerable, um, I think that be having a heart open to, to compassion and... Uh, Setting a good example in that way, I think it allows other people to also do that thing. Because everybody wants to be like that, but they're afraid of being hurt, of not being well received, of being condemned or judged in oh, some way. Yes. And I see, like, my, like, so many of my friends so close to me are, like, so scared to do that, especially people that I want to be close to. I'm like, I want to be close to you, but you are just, like, too scared to get close to another person, like, period. Like, it's not even me. Like, you just can't be close to other people because you're afraid, and I don't know how to make you not be scared because I want to be able to, like, consume who you are, but, like, you can't let me do that. Oh, yes, that is exactly, like, can you remember that for me somehow? Like, oh, that's exactly what I need to think of, like, ugh. Like, does that make sense? Oh, yeah, it makes sense. I've, uh, uh, I've, I've, I've been, I've been here before, I think. Wait, what, what time is it right now? It's 3.12 in Texas, so that's okay, 4.12 that's perfect. in, uh, Yeah, we're Florida. good. Alright, uh, I'm just, like, crying outside of this random fraternity house. Woo! <laughs> yeah, man, I support you. Make sure you get your nutrition and water uh, taken care yeah, of. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm great. Yeah. I've already eaten, like, twice today, and I'm doing great. I've been drinking so much water, and I've been eating a lot, and I just, I've been doing so well at taking care of myself oh, I'm, I'm, this weekend, I'm, somehow, and it's all just worked out. I'm great. really glad Carson showed you <laughs> Wait, her so good friends. Like, what, what? Can I do anything about that? Like, wanting to, like, I don't know, like, consume other people, but they're, like, not ready to, like, be there because they're scared of other people? Yeah, I mean, uh, a lot of like, it... A do lot I just of... have to accept that I, like, can't, like, I just have to let other people, like, be what they need? Because, like, I want things from them. <laughs> um, I've got three things to say, I think. Uh, one is, uh, as a person, it's your uh, role, if you choose to accept it, to uh, have, to offer, to create, to bring around with you a safe space for people to open up according to however slow or fast they want to. Um, it, has to it has to come from within them. It can never be something that you uh, force or you know, try to figure out how to make them have it, because that won't always work. Uh, I know a girl, Colleen, there's a video we have called Claudio, My Claudio, where she talks about this guy, she really pulled every trick out for, you know, she knew him pretty well, wanted him to open up to her, but he never did, and he never, he never, I don't know, liked her. And uh, Yeah. But, so you can't, you can't, um you know, think that it's any other way. And then the second thing is, uh, I, I think the role of woman has a lot to do with this, too. Um, you know, there there is this desire for connectedness and communion and uh, shameless communication that is really uh, burning and spiritually yearning. So there's that. Yeah, you said you had three things. Yeah, actually, I, I put the third thing into the first thing, too. So okay. That, that was that you are, you know, just res respecting the fact that it, yeah. it, it has to come from the other person. You can't put them in the boat. You, you, 
you uh it's like teaching it's like yeah uh, yeah the thing is like i understand what you mean because like i've spent like from well like yeah like my whole life like wondering about some of these things and like having realizations like now after like trying so hard these like past few years to like understand some of these things and like being able to understand something like literally just anything more last night where I felt like I was like yes okay like oh like I feel like cathartic like slightly more it was just so good and I guess like yeah like I couldn't force that after a few years so I can't force it in other people either I just wish I could just cry out here, but I can't because I don't, I don't know. What? I, 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 I guess I am anyway. Yeah. <sighs> I guess I am anyways. I think you can. Yeah. Uh, I just wish I was still with Carson and Logan and Dan. We were just like the four of us. We were a unit. <laughs> it was so much fun. Wow, I listened to so much good music last night. Like, I like, because my friends in Jacksonville listen to EDM a lot just like casually but I've never like actively listened to it and like you listen to like like some stuff sometimes like in your room like I hear it and I'm just like oh I want to go to sleep like turn your bass down but like and like I've understood because they listen to it a lot more but like last night just like listening to that music like like oh man it was just so good like music is always good I guess, even, like, all the time when you just, like, completely, like, go into it, but some of that stuff we were listening to was so good, uh, and just, like, being around, okay, so this kid we were with, he was just, like, so, he was a very, like, I don't know, I really like when I meet someone and they are just, like, fully themselves, like, I think I talk about Carson a lot. Like, Carson is always so Carson. Like, everything she does is just very characteristically her. And she has, like, habits and, like, just, like, decisions. That she, like, I can, like, predict some of the things that she'll do just because, like, I know that she's staying true to herself all the time. And it's, like, I met this kid and we just, like, committed to, like, being, like, really tight with each other immediately because we all just tripped together and like I was like I felt like I already knew him so quickly just because he was like so true to himself in like all the decisions that he made and just like the way that he carried himself he was very like this is who I am and I am like very sure of it all the time and even I don't know even if you're not like consciously sure of it like I don't know I just it was so cool, and he just had all this music, like, on lock, like, so ready, and, like, every moment, he would, like, be controlling the mood, because he had a really good speaker, and he would just be like, oh, like, it's gonna switch, because, like, he would be switching the song, and he would just, like, know how to control the mood the whole night, and it was insane, and it was so cool, because, like, if I got to control the music, like, everything would change, or if someone, like, accidentally changed the song when no one was ready for it, like, everyone would just, like, be jolted, like, in their trip, like, they would just be, like, it felt like you just got taken and like shook if you were like in a song and then it just got changed immediately and all of us would just like experience the song like just being completely jolted away and it was crazy <laughs> like music controlling the mood so much did you listen to that song? 